let's discuss about working of Clark electrode. The Clark electrode is a device used to measure dissolved oxygen in water and other liquids. It was invented by a chemistry professor named Clark in the year 1962. The Clark electrode is usually made up of glass and it has two electrodes, the silver electrode and the platinum electrode. The platinum electrode extends till the bottom where we have the Teflon membrane. The thin Teflon membrane is permeable to oxygen. In other words, the oxygen molecules can diffuse through this Teflon membrane inside this electrode. Now, these electrodes are connected with a battery. The electrodes are connected in such a way that the silver electrode is connected with the positive terminal whereas the platinum electrode which is in the center is connected with the negative terminal of the battery. Now since this is an electrode it is to be filled with an electrolyte solution. So it is filled with an electrolyte solution which has lots of H plus ions. In other words, the pH inside this electrolyte solution is acidic. Now, before understanding the working of Clark electrode, let us understand the basics of electrolysis of water. So, electrolysis of water is a phenomenon in which the molecule of water is broken down into oxygen and hydrogen in presence of electric current. For this, we take some water and to increase its electrical conductivity, we add some amount of salt, acid or alkali. Any one of them can be added. Next, we connect the electrodes with the power supply such as battery. The oxygen bubbles are generated at the positive terminal whereas the hydrogen bubbles are generated at the negative end. So this is how the electrolysis reaction looks like. Two moles of water undergoes electrolysis to form one mole of oxygen and two moles of hydrogen. Now let's try to see how this reaction is happening. So at the positive end, the water molecules loses its oxygen to form oxygen bubble. And these hydrogen over here will lose its electron to form H plus ions. Now since the electrode is positively charged, these electrons will be attracted towards the positively charged electrode. Now since we have the battery, these electrons will be pulled up by the battery and sent towards the negative terminal. And during this process, the A meter will detect electric current. Now these H plus ions will be repelled by the positive electrode. As a result, they will start moving away from here. These H plus ions are attracted towards the negative electrode. When these H plus ions reaches the negative electrode, since the electrode is having excess amount of electrons, these H plus ions will accept the electron and form hydrogen gas. Now let us see the working of Clark electrode. When the electric current is passed through the Clark electrode, because of electrolysis of water, the current is detected by the A meter. 
Now the question is, how does the Clark electrode detect the presence of oxygen? The working of Clark electrode is based on the simple reaction between oxygen and hydrogen to form water. So the oxygen which is diffusing through the Teflon membrane inside the electrode reacts with the H plus ions to form water and this reaction requires 4 moles of electrons. In other words, for every 1 mole of oxygen that is diffusing inside the electrode, we require 4 moles of hydrogen ions and 4 moles of electrons to form 2 moles of water. So let us see the magnified image to understand this process. The oxygen is diffusing in the electrode via the Teflon membrane. Once the oxygen enters the electrode, it is going to react with the H plus ions and the electrons which are provided by the electrode. So when this reaction occurs, it forms water. Now, during this reaction, we are using excess amount of electrons from the electrode. This reaction is pulling away electrons from this electrode. So, there are two reactions happening at the platinum electrode. Number one, the reduction of hydrogen ions to form hydrogen gas. And number two, the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water. So as you can see, in presence of oxygen, we require 4 moles of extra electrons for the second reaction to occur. In other words, the electric current increases in presence of oxygen. More the amount of oxygen entering the electrode, more will be the electric current. So this is how the Clark electrode detects the presence of dissolved oxygen. Now you might also wonder the presence of oxygen will decrease the H plus ions in the electrolyte but this is not the case. This is because when the presence of oxygen consumes the electrons and H plus ions the system tries to form more amount of hydrogen ions and electrons. This happens by increase in the hydrolysis of water at the positive terminal. This will generate more amount of hydrogen ions and electrons. These electrons will be pulled up by the battery and sent to the platinum electrode. So in short, the presence of oxygen increases the forward reaction in the electrode system and this finally increases the electric current. In simple words, more is the amount of oxygen, more is the electric current detected. And this is how the Clark electrode functions.